Dear students, now we are going to discuss power amplifier and its types. Let's start with the definition. It is an amplifier with high output power. From the name itself, we come to know that power amplifier can produce maximum amount of output power. This output may be in the form of large amount of voltage or large amount of current. Power amplifier is also referred as large signal amplifier. So this is the simple diagrammatic representation of power amplifier. Okay. So here we can consider the example loudspeaker application. In this loudspeaker a large amount of current is delivered to a small load resistance. Okay. So here we can use the power amplifier in a loudspeaker applications. So next features of power amplifiers. The power amplifier is having a very large power handling capacity. It has low output resistance. It requires impedance matching to ensure the maximum output power. Okay. So here impedance matching is very important concept to deliver high output power. Okay. Power transistors with heat sink are used in power amplifiers. Distortion analysis is an important concept in this power amplifier design. Okay. Next applications of power amplifiers. Power amplifier is widely used in public address system that is loudspeaker. It can also be used in radio receivers, TV receivers, cathode ray tubes etc. Okay. So next classification of power amplifiers. Power amplifiers can be classified into class A amplifier, class B amplifier, class C amplifier and class AB amplifier. Apart from that we can have class D and class S. Okay. Then we can have MOSFET power amplifiers. Okay. So it is based on the transistors. We can get MOSFET power amplifiers. Okay. So now we are going to compare these four amplifiers. Okay. Let's start with this class A amplifier. In this amplifier, the transistor in the amplifier circuit is in active region for the full cycle of the AC input signal. So here the output signal is produced for the full cycle that is 360 degree of the AC input signal. So it can reproduce the signal at the output. Here the Operating point or Q point is positioned at the midpoint of the load line. For a class A amplifier, the transistor remains in the active region to reproduce the signal at the output. So it is in the active region to reproduce the signal for 360 degree. Okay. So here the efficiency of a class A amplifier is very small. That is 25% to 50%. Okay. So next class B amplifier. So in this class B amplifier, the transistor is in active region for only the half of the AC input signal. Okay, so here we can see this diagram. So here this class B amplifier conducts only for 180 degree. So we can get half of the signal as a output. Okay, so class B amplifier, the transistor is biased such that the output current flows only for half cycle of the AC input signal. So this transistor remains in the active region only for the positive half cycle. Then the distortion may be present. Here the efficiency of class B amplifier is 78.5% which is greater than the class A amplifier. Here the major advantages of class B amplifier over class A amplifiers are it has greater output power, higher efficiency and less power loss. Okay. Next one is class AB amplifier. Class AB amplifier operates between class A and class B amplifiers. Hence it is named as class AB amplifier. So here the transistor is an on condition only for more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. That means the output signal exists 
for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree of the input AC signal. So here the efficiency of this class A B amplifier is higher than class A but less than class B. It is in the range between 50 percentage to 78.5 percentage. Okay. So the next one is class C amplifier. So in this amplifier the transistor is in active region only for less than one half of the input signal. That means less than 180 degree. So it can produce only 120 to 150 degree conduction. So in class C amplifier the transistor is on for less than one half of the input AC signal. Here we can get the high efficiency that is above 90 percentage. But it has very high distortion due to this minimum conduction. Okay. Finally, we can compare the different types of power amplifiers. Class A, Class B, Class A, B, Class C. In Class A amplifier, the output signal exists for 360 degree of the input signal. For this Class B, the transistor can conduct only half of the input signal. That is 180 degree conduction is possible in Class B amplifier. For this class AB, the transistor is in active region for more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. For this class C, it can produce the output for less than 180 degree. Okay. Here the output signal is for 360 degree of the input signal. For this class B, it can produce the output only for the half of the input signal. For this class AB, it can produce the output signal for more than 180 degree less than 360 degree of the input signal. The same over here for class C it can produce the output for less than 180 degree ok. So next the Q point that means operating point is located at the center of the load line in class A amplifier so it can reproduce the output signal. But for this class B here the Q point is on X axis. For this class AB above the X axis, in this class C just below the X axis. Okay. So here the efficiency is 25 percentage to 50 percentage. Here it is 78.5 percentage. Here it is 50 to 78.5 percentage. That means in between class A and class B. So here the efficiency is very high. That is above 90 percentage. In class A amplifier there is no distortion. For this class B amplifier distortion is present. For this class AB distortion is present. But it is in between these two ranges. But for this class C amplifier there is a highest distortion. Okay.